Staying in that area, Belleville, Mansville and Lorraine, that area around 2600 customers without power and uh, that number has been fluctuating, but smaller communities and we're there tonight with seven news reporter Thomas Caffarella and he found out it's a place where neighbors are helping neighbors. Because we're all human. We're not replaceable. We're all individuals. Tuesday night at 9 o'clock, Craig O'Donnell and Stephanie Roach were waiting out the windstorm in their home of six years when a tree hit their house. Then all of a sudden the adrenaline just kicks in and now you're in survival mode. No one nor no animal was hurt, but the tree cracked the roof, dented gutters and sent shattered glass everywhere. I'm super thankful for just broken windows, broken doors that can all be fixed. Even with a tree on top of their roof, Stephanie and Craig still consider themselves lucky, and that's because of who is next door. The neighbors were down here uh, not five minutes after this whole thing. Everybody was checking in with us. One of the many who helped was next door neighbor Michelle and her husband Mike. They helped Craig and Stephanie board up the windows to prevent wind gusts from getting into the house and picked up shattered glass. Craig and Stephanie were grateful. It's awesome knowing that you live in a community where people care enough to make sure that they're their neighbors are okay. But Michelle believes that's what neighbors are for. It means a lot just to know that they think that highly of us, but we do it for anybody. Keeping the cold out with the warmth of the community. Thomas Caffarella, 7 News.